On the 4th of May 2017, Jason Blundell, the co-studio head of Treyarch, traveled to Alabama for a very special reveal. He was going to JC Backfire's house, and JC's a creator friend of mine who's part of the Zombies community, and together they surprise revealed none other than Zombies Chronicles. At this point, it's old news, but at the time, it was a massive deal. The fact that Jason went all the way to JC's place to reveal the DLC from there? It was just so weird. And somehow, now, something even weirder is happening. As many of you are no doubt already aware, Jason Blundell left Treyarch a little while ago now, actually. He's been gone from the company for quite a long time, or so we thought. More on that later. And in his last statement, he basically said, thank you to the fans for being so wonderful, but it's time for him to move on to something else. And he'd miss us all greatly, and he's sort of sad to say goodbye. And similar had already happened with Michael Condry, with Glenn Schofield, with Cameron Dayton, with Lee Ross. The list just kind of goes on of leads of zombies projects that one by one have kind of fallen like dominoes over the years, and Jason was the biggest one of them all, but his time came, he left, and since then, we've heard nothing about what he's been up to. Absolutely zero. There haven't been any press releases as to what he's been up to. There haven't been any leaks. There's been no new tech startup formed with Jason Blundell at the head or just anything. We just don't know what the man's been up to. I mean, he could have been dead for all we know, but we now know that he's not and we know it for the most bizarre reasons. So yesterday, JC Backfire, same guy that I mentioned at the start, did a stream on his Twitch channel where he was playing Sonic, which sounds innocent enough, but in the background of the stream, there was a mystery figure. And as you can see here, this is a pretty sus looking guy. He's just chilling on the couch and the stream goes on and on and on. And the guy on the couch starts doing like magic tricks. He starts blowing bubbles at one point. He does a Rubik's Cube, I think, at one point. There's all sorts of weird stuff going on. JC never acknowledges it. His chat is like losing its mind the entire time. They think that maybe it's Noah J. They think that maybe it's his dad. Everyone's confused. The stream ends. JC starts up a stream again today. And what do you know? The man is back once again. And the chaos ensues for the duration of the stream. Except this time, it's a little different. He's got a crate, which looks really suspicious. And about 30 minutes into the stream, this happened. I'm just as blown away by this as you guys are. The first mention we've had of Jason Blundell in this long, and the man is in a ski mask, blowing bubbles at JC Backfire while he streams Sonic on a random, what, Tuesday, Wednesday afternoon? Huh? It's almost beyond parody. It's just genuinely that weird. But there is actual reason to believe that this is leading us to something much bigger. First of all, why would JC... First of all, why would Jason just appear out of retirement, out of complete secrecy for a random Sonic stream? There's going to be a reason behind it, right? We know that Jason's a massive fan of puzzles. We know that he really likes teasing the community and kind of just doing as much as he can to be cryptic about things. And I mean, we're seeing it again here. And the fact that it's his exact trademark style makes me think that maybe, and this is going to be one of many suggestions as to what's happening, maybe this is actually going to be some kind of very bizarre build-up to an announcement that Jason's actually back at Treyarch, which would be really strange, or he's moved over to Sledgehammer now, and he's working on zombies again, and for all we know, he could be making Zombies Chronicles 2 as we speak. I spoke to a bunch of the people that were in JC's chat that watched all of the streams, and they thought that that was a genuine possibility. Maybe that's what's going on here, because think about it, we've just had rumors and leaks in the last few weeks that Treyarch are working on the development of the Zombies mode in Sledgehammer's game coming out this year. They're not just doing Cold War dev, they're also working on the next thing. 
What if those rumors are mistaken and actually Zombies Chronicles 2 is in dev right now and that's what Treyarch are moving staff over to work on? I feel like that would line up perfectly with Jason's sudden appearance here and the timing would make sense too because the rumors have started coming out. I mean, I made a video about that literally today and so Activision would want to kind of put their mark on the story and kind of focus the narrative a little bit and reveal the fact that Jason is indeed involved. There are definitely other possibilities though. One is that JC has a podcast with another YouTuber, MC Sportshawk, called Irrelevant. And there is a possibility that due to the fact that JC and Matt are both in LA and Jason might be in LA for Summer Game Fest that's happening tomorrow, they might actually be getting him on the podcast. And this is Jason's way of sort of saying, let's come full circle here and do another JC backfire reveal. Except this time it's like your thing, the podcast, instead of my thing, The Zombies Chronicles, like it was before. That is a possibility, however... I personally think that the stakes are too sort of high for that to be the case. No offense to the irrelevant podcast, but I feel like Jason is not going to sort of stay in secrecy about whatever he's doing and then break that secrecy just to be like, oh yeah, hey, I'm on irrelevant. And so other theories that are similar to that, like for example, Southern Gamer AL in the chat in JC's stream said, what if Jason's announcing JC's engagement to his girlfriend or something? That would be hilarious. Like JC helped announce Chronicles and then Jason helps JC announce a very different labor of love, his relationship or something. That'd be so goofy and so funny, but I just don't think that's the case. I think this has to be something bigger. Now, MJ Bobson from the chat did also say, Summer Games Fest is happening tomorrow. What if this is something else entirely that I haven't mentioned so far? And other folks were suggesting it as well. What if Jason is working on a new game or a new studio or a new something, Zombies 2.0, and JC is now working for him. Because think about it, JC got a new job in the games industry and has been totally secretive about what that is. He hasn't told a single soul. He's been unbelievably cryptic about it. He's dodged the question in all his streams. He just avoids the topic. And seeing as that's also what Jason's kind of been doing, super secretive, no details revealed, the fact that they're both coming together now might be the unlock moment that brings us the actual announcement of whatever the hell they're working on. There's also the possibility that it's not Chronicles and it's not the Treyarch or Sledgehammer route, but it's actually a new studio formed within Activision that is now working on a zombie standalone game. That is a rumor that started spreading a bit more heavily a couple of months ago, actually. There was a suggestion that that was being worked on, and this would fit that perfectly. Jason Blundell leaves the studio, is in complete secrecy for years, and then suddenly turns up with a Zombies standalone title ready to release at the end of 2021 or maybe next year or something if it's still in early dev. It's a truly bizarre situation, but there are a few things that might be able to give us some more answers. One of them is all the things that Jason was doing during the stream. The box that he had, the juggling that he was doing, there may have been some kind of hint in there because we know this man used to blink in Morse code in my interviews with him, so maybe there's something else going on that we can kind of read into. And I also want to leave you with one final thing. Jason left a cipher for us to solve. Specifically, there is a board in JC's background that says EDGDZ space, or new line rather, OZM question mark. I don't know what that says, but I'm leaving it to you guys as a community. We've got to figure this out because if that somehow translates to like chronicles or something that would be mind-blowing that would be so insane can you imagine that's the way that they revealed it it would be hilarious i want more answers summer games fest is tomorrow so i'm going to definitely be making sure that i kind of keep an eye on that in case there's any news and i'll be keeping you guys updated no doubt throughout the entire process i'll see you next time hopefully very soon bye for now